Hey everyone, this is Nick Orlando with Core AI, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to train FAQs. So we know that we're going to be leveraging our Knowledge Graph engine to build our FAQ repository. And there's three main steps to training your FAQs. Number one is to build the ontology. Number two is to add keywords. And number three is to add synonyms. There are some advanced topics that we can cover, uh, but we're not going to discuss them in this video. Uh, you can read more about them in our developer documentation, and we'll also have some more video content on those coming out soon. Um, so without further ado, let's jump into our knowledge graph underneath conversational skills. Then we're gonna jump into the actual FAQs that we have built out right now. We can see that we have a couple around a few different topics. So on the very left-hand side, this is that ontology that we're building out. So what that means is when we have common topics that fall underneath a certain umbrella, we can add all of those FAQs to that umbrella to provide a higher degree of accuracy when we're receiving FAQs uh, from users. So we can build out this hierarchical structure. And what we can also do is take a look at all of the intents that are created. And we see that location and hours, those both would fall underneath an about us or company info type of uh, FAQ. So what we can do is on our e-commerce bot, we can add a node and we can say about us. We can create that node. And then what we can do is we can take a look at location and hours and we can say, okay, those both fall within and about us. So we're going to add them here. So now we see that we're adding a little bit more hierarchy, a little bit more organization, but then what we can do, so that's the ontology aspect. Next, we're going to start adding some keywords. So let's do that for the hours. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, that one's pretty you know, simple, hours. So we're gonna add hours as the keyword um, for these two. And then we're gonna add store hours, or we can just do hours actually for all of these. So we're gonna add hours for each of these four FAQs, these four different ways of talking about the store's hours. And that way we're going to make sure that the FAQs are even more accurate based on if a keyword is identified within a user's query. So that takes care of adding keywords. And then the last thing that I wanna do is to add synonyms. So a synonym is you know, obviously just a different way of saying, a different word for saying the same thing. So within this FAQ, what we can think about is, um, okay, so within the about us, if we have something around hours, then we also might wanna talk about that as a schedule. So we can add schedule as a, um, we can add schedule as a synonym. And maybe we even wanna do, um, you know, maybe we just wanna do something around time as well. So we can add those two synonyms to our hours um, <clears throat> to our hours FAQ. And then if somebody's asking, what is your schedule or what time do you open? Then we know that they're also still talking about the store hours and we can surface the appropriate material. Um, so we're going to save that. And then the only other thing that I do want to, uh, you know, bring to your attention is that there are some other things that you can do. You can, you can use traits and you can also manage context uh, within this. You can also see that the synonyms are for each child path. So each of the nodes underneath that, you know, e-commerce bot, um, the synonyms are displayed here. So you can also enter them and create them for each path here. Some of these more advanced topics around traits and context are gonna be covered at a later time, or you can read about them in the developer documentation as well. So that's a little bit about how to, uh, <laughs> I guess the final step, don't wanna, don't wanna forget to do this part, but the final step is also to click this train button in the upper right hand corner. That's gonna complete the process. It's gonna actually train the knowledge graph on all of the things that we're doing. Um, and that kind of rounds out how to train FAQs. Thank you all so much for your time. Looking forward to our next conversation.